Good day, Mustangs. Thank you for joining us once again. It's Tuesday, March 15, 2022, and I'm Varsha Sayana. In the headlines, track and field starts the season strong. Students take a look into their future during career week. The STEAM Innovation Awards are back. And finally, FSA's Team Shark needs your support. But first, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. FSA's track team has been practicing non-stop with long hours after school. Mustang News reporter Jose Salinas looks into the progress the team has made so far and some of the highlights of the season. FSA Middle and Varsity track teams have been tracking their hours in training, fielding several days a week for practice, including Saturdays. Coaches Williams and McCoy are preparing for regionals just around the corner. So far, the team has two meets under their belt. During the first meet, which took place at Central High School in Carrollton, Georgia, the Varsity girls secured an overall second place, while the boys came in the top four in the final results. Despite freezing cold weather and last-minute cancellation of field events, the team held a high standards high once again at the Cambridge High School this past week. It was a great showing for the varsity team, with multiple athletes racing to the top of their heats. Freshman Sophia and Isabel placed first and second in the 1600 meter and second and third in the 3200 meter races. Senior Jeremy also placed first in the 300 meter hurdles. Several athletes like Asher had great individual performances where he placed at the top of his heat in the 100 meter dash. Here's what he has to say about his goals for the remainder of the like an 11 second domain from 100 meter dash. As they work towards regionals, the athletes are setting personal goals of what, when, and how they would like to improve. Sonika and Jeremy shared this with the Mustang News. Um, my personal goal is to at least throw 75 feet. I want to continue getting first place in the hurdles. You know, win a four by one with my teammates, Asher, um, Parker, and Austin. For Mustang News, I am Jose Salinas. This week, students have been focusing on learning more about their future possible careers and even figuring out what careers interest them. On Thursday, March 17th, FSA will be hosting a career day. This is an all-day event in which students will engage in a variety of activities that simulate a conference atmosphere. Stay tuned to Mustang News for more updates. It's time to remind ourselves of our core values. Let's go over the A in I care. For Mustangs, advocacy focuses on active engagement within appreciation for diverse cultures and values the service of others in the pursuit of a more equitable world. FSA will be hosting the second annual STEAM Innovation Awards on Wednesday, May 4th at the Metropolitan Club. During this community partnership event, FSA will be celebrating its 10th anniversary as well. This event highlights excellence in partnerships between FSA and the wider community. It also recognizes community support for FSA's STEAM curriculum. Stay tuned for details. Remember, Mustangs, FSA's Future City Shark Team still needs your vote. They need your help to win the People's Choice Award. Vote for Team Shark by March 18, 2022. The voting link and directions can be found on the school newsletter. It's time to take a look at the weather. According to the Weather Channel, you should expect a partly cloudy day. The high is in the high 70s, while the low is in the lower to mid 50s, with winds being 7 miles per hour. Umbrellas won't be necessary, and we'll finally get to see some sunshine. In addition to her poetry, Adrienne Rich wrote several books of nonfiction prose. Rich has received multiple awards, including the Landon Lifetime Achievement Award, the National Book Award, and a MacArthur Fellowship. She was also a former chancellor of the Academy of American Poets. Rich says the most important thing one woman can do for another is expand her sense of actual possibilities. Ready for some laughs? It's time for the joke of the day. What did the shark say when he ate the clownfish? This tastes a little funny. In keeping with the updated CDC protocols, masking at FSA is now optional. However, you still need to complete your daily wellness check on school pass. The school nurse cautions if you are feeling sick, stay home. As always, the first person you need to get in touch with if you are experiencing symptoms, exposed to someone who tested positive, or if you yourself had a positive test is the school nurse. On another note, attendance issues and doctor's notes should be sent to attendance at FultonSciencesAcademy.org. And students, remember, you should always be in the correct uniform unless it is a dress down day. Stay safe and healthy Mustangs, and don't forget to subscribe to FSA's YouTube channel. 
I'm Barsha Sayana, reminding you that when we, you, and I care, we are always hashtag stronger together.